on everyone um so this is those that follow me on facebook y'all were expecting this video um today i'm gonna discuss building a new construction home from dirt and choosing your builders um so last week i attended a, a design gallery appointment for um, my out-of-state client that's building from dirt um he's he wasn't able to fly in for this appointment to pick all of his options so i attended the appointment for him and i had him on video call so that he can see the options and kind of help him pick that way um so it was not a great experience and that's what i want to share today um it wasn't a great experience so that's why you have to be careful what builders you choose i can't choose for you i can only share my um, professional opinions and my experiences with some of the builders that i've been working with and keep in mind i've been selling uh, new construction for seven years so i've worked with so many builders i study builders even if i haven't worked with them even if i haven't sold one of their homes i still have connections and relationships with the sales agents because I get to know all of their products um, you know I talk to them and I get information from them um, I learn their products I learn their their quality their customer service and all of that so I have a lot of experience with new construction and so choosing a builder to me is like the most important um, the most important factor when you're buying a new house and I say that's that's even more important than the price, the size. Choosing the right builder is very important. And this experience that I had last week is one of the reasons why. It was not a great experience. Um, uh, so with this builder, a lot of their employees are elderly. And they this builder they're like behind in times when it comes to technology so that made everything frustrating um, having to do a lot of manual math um, it, it, uh, <laughs> that along with um, not being able to, to send the buyer the option since he's not here locally he wasn't here locally to see the options they weren't able to send him the you know pictures or online gallery or something for him to you know get a preview of before the appointment day they told him we asked from the very beginning since he can't be here can you send him an online gallery they said no they waited until three weeks later the night before the appointment day to send him the online gallery now wait a minute we asked for this three weeks ago so you send this to him the night before and he's supposed to make choices right away before our nine o'clock appointment in the morning bad business um the other thing that i did not like about this experience is that everything is an upgrade everything is an upgrade things that you would think would be standard it's not especially at this price point this house is over five hundred thousand dollars so you would think that there would be some nice standards um included there were not not one everything to make this house nice is 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 an upgrade i didn't like that i don't like that for my buyers because i don't like that um so my buyer had in mind how much upgrades he wanted to do uh you know as far as price point yeah he ended up going over double that amount to put everything in the house that he wanted and he didn't go crazy either it was simple stuff um but it came up to over a double almost another hundred thousand dollars to put everything in this house that he wanted so now we're over six hundred thousand for this house and it's not fancy it's nothing like oh my you know so i'm very i'm, I'm a little disappointed and i'm sure he is too because this design person that we were working with um she was very pushy about her recommendations and wouldn't let him choose his own so i kind of had to step
step in and tell him back off. This is what he wants. <laughs> um, and no difference in price either. You know, it could be the same, for instance, countertop. He wants this color, she's suggesting that color. Like, a, a suggestion is okay, but when you're like pushy with it, it's like, well, wait a minute, ma'am, this is my house. <laughs> Um, so I kind of had to step in a few times to like, pipe, to, you know, have her pipe down and let him, let him make the decision. We're, we're talking the same level, level threes, you know, so, um, it's not, it's not a price difference. It's just, she wanted his house to look the way she wanted it to look. And so that was, that did not make it a great experience. Um, the other thing about building from dirt. When you're, I don't recommend building from dirt in Houston because Houston is really, really big on inventory homes. Our builders build so many inventory homes and they have what they call packages. They have packages of design options that they put together, either the salesperson in the office or the, the, the person at the design gallery. They put these packages together. Okay, we're gonna put this countertop with this floor, with this cabinet. And they they make like nine different packages of you know design options. And then when they build inventory homes, okay, in this house we're gonna put option one. This house we're gonna put option two. And that's how they do it. So when you build from dirt, and you go to your design appointment, guess what? All they're gonna do is recommend you the same packages that they put in the inventory homes. And you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that looks nice, that looks nice. Well, guess what? That house, they're already building eight houses just like that. <laughs> and they're one, either cheaper, or two, they have and or two they have um better incentives on the one that's already being built when you go to the design gallery they are not taking the time to put in any creative thought for you for your designs they're not doing it they're just recommending you the same thing that they will put in an inventory home so it's kind of pointless to build from dirt in houston unless you go in with a set design color palette that you want. I want this specific floor. I want this, this everything specific to what you want. Otherwise, those design people are just gonna recommend you the same exact packages that they put in the inventory homes. So here you are waiting six to nine months to build the same house that's already ready, that could close in 30 or 45 days. Um, or that's already being built and can close sooner than six to nine months because they've already started that one. So I always recommend looking at inventory homes before you decide to build from dirt. Because one, you're wasting a whole lot of time. You're wasting months. And two, you're losing out on the incentives that inventory homes offer. And three, your house is gonna look just the same as all the other ones because they don't take the time to get creative with you. The appointment is long enough. It's always an all day appointment, all day. Um, and that's just for them to, to be making recommendations of the stuff, you know, the same packages that they already use in inventory homes. If they, if it had to, um, if they had to spend more time being creative with your designs, it would take even longer. It, would, it could be a two-day appointment. So, um, I do not recommend building from dirt with these builders unless you are doing a custom build. That's the only time they take their time with you and they help you pick unique options when you're doing a custom build. If you're building just a regular house from dirt in the community, they're not going to get creative with you. They're not going to help you um, pick, you know, uh, unique options to make your house look unique. Your house is going to look the same as everybody else's. Um, so that's kind of disappointing for me. Um, 
it was it was not a good experience the lady was mean she she like i said she was elderly you know they some elderly people can be a bit grouchy at times and she really was the whole entire time um i actually love going to my design appointment to my clients design appointments with them um even though it is all day i love doing that i love you know looking at all the different materials and you know finishes and things and so i have to be honest and say that this was the first time i was ever ready to go i, I was not feeling it it was a it, the appointment was really disappointing um and her customer service was just the absolute worst how did we get with this builder well he kind of found them before he found me so I mean, we just had to roll with it i just have to do the best that I can, you know, with him throughout this process, but I'm sure he's already not happy because another thing she didn't do was she never asked what was his budget. Although she kept saying, my job is to help keep you on budget. She never asked what the budget was. And number two, she never gave us a rolling total. So as he's picking all these options, we have no idea what the total is. Throughout the appointment, she could have said, okay, now we're at 10,000, now we're at 20,000. She never mentioned a number of ones. So I finally asked her, are you aware? Because I know she spoke with his wife the previous day, the day before. So I'm thinking, well, maybe she told her her budget yesterday. That's probably why she haven't asked for it today. So I, it finally got to a point because I know that he had, you know, picked a lot of options so i got curious like well where are we i want to make sure we're still on budget so i asked her are you aware of what um what their desired budget is for for this appointment today and she said no i said well you said it three times that your job was to keep them on budget so how are you going to keep them on budget if you don't know what the budget is and she got to stutter in then i asked her okay well what is our total now man almost a hundred thousand dollars and this this was just part one of three appointments we have three appointments and we were still only on the first appointment so he wasn't even done yet um so i was upset i was already irritated with her all those hours sitting there with her and then she didn't even want to tell me what the total was she was trying to work up the email real quick to email it to us and i was like she was having a hard time with technology again she couldn't figure out their system or whatever so i asked her well are you are you able to see the total can you just tell us what the total is versus trying to figure out how to email it and so when she said the number i was like that's why she didn't want to tell us she knew exactly what the number was but she didn't want to say it she wanted to surprise us in email that's not right because now the buyer is like i just sat here and spent all these hours picking out all these options that i wanted and now i have to go back and take some stuff out because it's over budget and we weren't even done yet still had two more appointments so that's disappointing for you to feel like you just built you're building the house that you really want because you're building from dirt so you get to choose everything that you want in it <clears throat> and then find out midway through that you already over budget so now you got to go back and take stuff out so it's like that builder i would never ever recommend i have my list of um my blacklist of builders that i do not recommend and they have just made it to the top three they did um it was disappointing so i just want y'all to know that is building from dirt is not worth it unless you already know for a fact what you want in that house and it's it's not available at that time from any builder i highly recommend looking at uh inventory homes before you decide to build from dirt it is you're not getting anything unique your house is going to look the same as everybody else's because they're not showing you every option in the design gallery 
they're picking out these four little choices of a level one level two level three and 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 you're choosing from what they're offering you they're not letting you walk around the whole gallery looking at all different types of tiles and backsplash they're not doing that they're presenting you here here's four options you choose from this that's all <laughs> that's all you're getting when you build from from dirt now like i said with a custom build you go into another side of the design gallery they're not going to show you those four little uh levels when you build a custom they taking you to the other side the private side where you got so many more options that you won't even see those type of options in a regular uh you know community home so i do not recommend building from dirt unless you're doing a custom build or unless you have experience with picking out finishes and if you don't have experience with picking out finishes don't even bother you may as well just get one of the houses with the packages that's already in inventory because that's all they're going to do is steer you in that direction anyway oh how about this floor how about this cabinet how about because that's our that's what they're already putting in in their inventory homes they're not giving you anything special so it's it's just disappointing and it's frustrating but um I'm just going to stick it out with him throughout this process and just hope for the best. Another thing about this builder, they do not give you a closing date. Not even an estimated closing date, no approximate date, no approximate month, not even a month. They just tell you, and it's in the contract as well, we'll let you know 30 days before closing. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Not me, but like as the buyer, especially when they're relocating from out of state. There's a lot of moving pieces when you're relocating from another state, you know? So how are you supposed to be able to make plans and decisions with only a 30 day notice? Book flights and, you know, movers and jobs and, um, 60 day notice at your current place it's, it's a lot of schools with the kids and it's a lot of moving pieces so that's another thing that i do not like about this builder i hope i never have to work with them again i'm not i'm not happy with them at all and if they're starting out like this they ha they haven't even laid the foundation yet and it's already a mess if it's already a mess like this right now and we haven't even started building imagine what it's going to be like when we do start building i could just see and imagine all the problems that we're going to have with them so i'm, I'm just going to try to remain um resilient and you know try to stay positive and keep my bias hopes up because i'm i know he's really really disappointed right now with having to go back and remove some of the options that a lot of the options that he chose for his home which which really sucks because when you buy a house in this in this price point you expect for it to be a really nice house and um it's just really not happening so you know he's gonna have to spare on some of the details because it's costing too much um other builders that i love selling they have already uh nice options already included as standard so you don't even have to do that much upgrade when you pick the right builder because they're not gonna the, the, the initial purchase price may seem a little high, but that's because they are already including your nice standards. Everything isn't an upgrade. When they started out with these big, huge, this is a 4,300 square foot house. So when they start out with, with you know, the, a price that seems really low, it's because they're not giving you any nice standards. They're giving you all the cheap standards, all the stuff that nobody wants. So you're forced to upgrade to make your house look nice. The good builders that I like to work with, they include a lot of nice standards. You don't have to do much upgrading. But there are builders out there that will nickel and dime you. And that is one thing that will put them at the top of my blacklist. And there are a couple of them that do that. So you, if you want to buy a brand new house in Houston, please contact 
contact me. I'm telling you, I have the knowledge, I have the skills, I have the experience to help you because I study these builders like it's nobody's business. I, I attend all of my walkthroughs. I attend uh, all of my clients' walkthroughs. I attend all of the inspections. I read all the inspection reports. I pay attention to their, you know, the, the sales agents and the um, construction managers, um, communication and their customer service some builders don't even let you talk to the um, construction manager they keep that person hidden you can't even email them you can't call them you just got to pass messages through the sales agent and that's frustrating why are you hiding you know so but the good builders they don't hide they love to put their construction managers in, in front of your face because they're proud of their quality they're proud of the product that they're offering you the ones that know they do shitty work um they're gonna hide from you because they don't want ten thousand home buyers you know calling them and emailing them and cursing them out because of stupid crappy stuff that they're doing um so that's a little bit about the new construction world i hope this helped y'all please feel free to give me a call email text me however you want to communicate if you are interested in buying a new construction home or a custom build in the houston area thank you